A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of birth. I want to stand and speak to the people of Delta State as a governor elected by them. And I will find it extremely difficult to stand before them knowing that I cheated to get to that office. If I cheat to get to that office, I may not be able to perform. But if I have the correct mandate of the people, which is what I seek, I believe I will represent them adequately and I'm sure they'll be satisfied. While people aspire for greatness, nature made you great from birth. It is for this very reason that God kept us for a time like this. Because you have managers who can manage in different circumstances. Where there is surplusage of monies, anybody can be a manager. Anybody can do anything. But when resources are getting scarce and they are dwindling, you need special skills to be able to turn things around. And I believe that the programs which we have will be able to survive and yield dividends in terms of turning around the economic fortunes of Delta State irrespective of dwindling oil prices. You have justified your golden name by showing capacity through love for your people and philanthropy, patience, consistency, and resilience. If you see a responsible leader or responsible leadership, you will find that the first thing they want to do is to make sure that the environment is well taken care of. And then there is security of lives and property. Having done those two things, then we start to talk about jobs, schools, housing, and things like that. Chief Great Averji Oboru, Omar Muovi of Abraka and Ueli Kingdoms. fish magnet and ardent adherent of democracy and all it represents. The talent that we shall bring on board and the vision we shall bring to bear on Delta State and the value orientation will make it such that our people will be able to live even with less means. Today, sir, Nigerians are wiser and they know you orchestrated the agitation for return of democracy in Nigeria. The people of this state have been shortchanged for so long their will and their votes have been cast aside and the government that was never elected or voted for has been in place. But thank goodness, because we are making progress, we believe that after darkness comes dawn. Deltans and Nigerians are so proud of you because your humanitarian gestures and sacrificial legacies speak for themselves. The critical thing right now, in my view, one of the things that has to be done urgently is to change the level of of environmental degradation that has taken place in the state. In this season of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom you emulate in character and in deeds, may your life and everything you touch continue to reflect greatness. Ama Muyowi of Abraka Kingdom wishes the peace and lovely people of Delta State and Nigerians Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.